Hi, I'm Corinna. Corinna specializes in one-on-one -on -one support and is now a QA engineer on the Autodesk Fusion team. Okay, this one came from our forum. Let's see how you can help them out. Okay, copy bodies to another design. I have no idea why there is nothing about this in all internet. I cannot be the only one who wants to copy a body to another project. This must be easier than I think, but the threads are always taking another direction. So this is actually one of our more popular forum posts. It's a great question and there's kind of some like structural stuff behind it as to why it feels weird. One thing to bear in mind is the difference between a body and a component. So a body is a piece of another piece, right? So it should be kind of a fixed aspect of your component um, where the component is more movable. You can also think about it from a like a timeline perspective too. You can activate a component to view the features that create the context of that component. You can't activate a body. A body is kind of a dumb piece of that component. Copying from one to another, you're gonna end up with either a dumb piece, like the body going from one file to another, or a smarter, more feature-rich um, aspect of your design going from one file to another. So to kind of show that, we've got the structure here of a body, an internal component, and the root component. Let's say we wanna just take this body. One person mentioned that you can just copy this and create a base feature and then paste, that was just command V, and you've got your body in this new file um, and I'll click finish base feature. And so what that's doing is kind of in the same idea of what I just described where the bodies are kind of dumb. They're just like a little piece of a larger whole. And in order to make that work today, you have to remove the timeline from the scenario. So in that case, we did a base feature which takes out the timeline. The other way that this might you could do this is in a new file, if you right click and select do not capture design history, go ahead and delete design history. Now you can paste again into a new file. So that's in the same vein. You can't have a history available to be able to paste in directly into it. That being said, there's a few other ways you could go about this that might work better for some scenarios. So I'm gonna use this insert, insert derive, save my target design, pick box three. There's some other options here, but I wouldn't worry about it. You can just go ahead and select your body, click okay. And now what I've done is I've created a reference between these two designs. So in this state, it still has a relationship with the original design. So if you make a change here, you'll see that change in your new design. It is retaining that intelligence from the earlier design. So that's one option. Another way that's that might be better for some folks, there was some mention of like, where's, where's my timeline? I wanna keep those features, is to use the component. So you do have to have built this in a way that includes a component to get the real rich features. So in this case, I created a component first and then created my features. And now I can actually just copy this internal component and in the new design, I can click paste new. And because I built it as a component, I'm retaining all that feature information from the original design. If there's some references that were created in the original design that don't exist in this new one, so like say that I used profile from some other component in my design to create this feature, you are gonna get warnings. You're gonna get some errors and warnings that are gonna tell you you need to resolve these because they're looking for something that doesn't exist anymore. So, and that's again why you need to have the component for the timeline versus a body. A body would just be like, I have nothing. There's nothing for me to know. So it just wouldn't be able to populate that feature history. The other way to do this, one more way, is to use insert. So insert, is you know normally used for creating a reference that then has a strong link back to the original. So it's not a copy, it's very much just using the original design. That might work in some cases for what you want. 
But um, the handy thing about the link is that you can also break the link. So once you populate it in here and you right click and select break link, now if I expand this group, I have my full timeline history available. So again, it has this one, it has to be the top level design to get that um, the full design here. But once you break the link, you might be able to do some things to it that allow you to keep that full history within this new assembly that you need.